Hey, how's it going? It's Joe. Uh, I am back with another product review. Um, spent the winter uh, taking a little bit of time off and uh, riding and uh, checking out some new products. So um, hopefully winter's over here. Uh, it was a good winter, but not too long like last year. Uh, and so I've got a bunch of winter gear that, um, that I'm going to be talking about. But uh, today I wanted to just talk a little bit about shoes um, and specifically um, the specialized defroster mountain bike boots. <coughs> so um, I am a little bit of a bargain hunter and I uh, it, be, last fall found on um, clearance rack at my local bike shop a set of uh, a pair of 2013-ish, 2012 defroster boots. Um, so uh, picked those up and uh, started riding those this winter. Um, now if you are looking at defroster boots um, from what I am able to tell, there's the 2014, if you go online or if you're going to your shop, uh, the, the big difference is gonna be the height and there's a, a larger Velcro strap that goes around that'll keep your ankle warm. Um, other than that, for the most part, I believe that the shoe is, is um, pretty much the same. Um, uh, my brother actually has a pair of the newer ones and uh, they look, um, everything else looks uh, pretty much identical. So. Um, I bought a slightly larger boot than uh, my mountain bike shoe, just so that I made sure that I had enough room uh, in the in the shoe for um, you know warmer socks. Uh, and so I have a pair of specialized wool uh, medium weight socks and uh, defeat um, heavyweight wool socks that I'll um, alternate between. Um, and for the most part, um, I, the, either one of those pairs of socks works. I don't really think that the thicker sock keeps my foot any warmer than the um, than the medium sock does. So, um, the, if you're looking for, you know, making sure that you've got enough room, um, just note that. Um, so, these are pretty cool. So, I've been doing winter riding um, for a couple of years, um, but I've always done it with my win my summer shoes and then booties over top. And uh, the major downfall in that system is that you can't stop. When you put your foot down, you can't stop snow from getting up underneath and into you know, packed into the booty. Uh, so, you know, living in Michigan, uh, living on the west side of the state where we get a lot of lake effect snow, we just are going to deal with snow. And I do some fat bike riding, which is awesome to do in the snow. You're inevitably going to put your foot down and you're going to get wet. So, um, this is a huge, huge advantage to have a fully enclosed uh, warm boot uh, to protect your. Um, feet from getting wet primarily. Um, I never had wet feet um, in these boots, didn't stick them in water, but um, you know what I mean, from just your normal riding, you get um, splash, you know, off splash from, you know, tires from the road or whatever. Um, never had wet feet. Um, they come with a very aggressive tread on the bottom, which is again great for uh, snow riding, um, winter riding. Um, they come with a couple of extra pegs that I of course put in there. Um, and then on the top, it has um, the seat, the laces are covered with a leather flap, so um, you're always protected and, and, don't, and you don't get water inside your foot that way. Um, really slick system. I don't know if you have tried if you've tried these on, you'll know how this works. But um, the Boa system they uh, specialize has been using the last couple of years on their higher end shoes. Uh, it, this system is a little bit different than the mountain bike shoes that I have, um, which I've done a review on. Um, this system, you pull the tab out and then pull on the little lever or the little tab that, that they give you on the shoestrings, and it's really easy to undo. And then when you want to put them on, push the, t uh, the dial back in, hang onto the straps, and just crank up, crank away, and tighten them to your uh, liking. And then you can just flip this leather strap and it connects and it has both a velcro and a, uh, a hole for the dial so that it locks into place. A um, couple things that I noted, these shoes, uh, so I, I wore these mountain bike shoes, um, primarily uh, fat biking, um, and so uh, you've got a slightly wider stance with that bike and so I had to install my cleat all the way to the uh, ball uh, side of my foot. Um, to get the boot away from the crank. Um, I'm not sure if this is just a wider uh, uh, shoe. I think it um, just because of the, the extra bulk, you know, for uh, providing that warmth. Uh, it's a slightly wider foot, 
um, and so I had to widen my stance a little bit so that uh, the, the shoe wouldn't rub against the crank. Um, I wore these on my mountain bike and didn't have that problem, so part of it might just be, you know, the fact that you're on a fat bike and the crank is widened and I need to, you know, put my pedals out a little bit. But um, it does, um, this is a little bit wider than my mountain bike shoe as well because I wore my normal mountain bike shoe on my fat bike and didn't have the rub without uh, moving that cleat. So that's one thing to note. You may have to adjust that a little bit. Um, the other thing um, that I think is really great about these, um, there's uh, three sets of reflectors. Um, you know, pretty much anything that's white on here is a reflector, which is great uh, for night riding. Obviously, uh, winter is a darker time of the year, uh, so you tend to probably need to be, uh, you probably be riding a little bit more often out, out at night. Uh, so being seen is always great, and these reflectors are um, really nice to have. Because um, I always find that people's feet um, bring more attention in the uh, in the headlights than um, uh, anywhere else. But anyway, um, yeah, this is the the specialized defroster boot. Um, really enjoyed it. Kept my feet warm uh, this winter um, and uh, dry. And if you're looking at this boot uh, for the price, I think it's a great. Uh, a great boot.